Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, we continue with the series of operational amplifiers and we will see the configuration known as voltage follower. In the previous video, we saw the non-inverting operational amplifier. This has a gain given by 1 plus R1 divided by R2. Now, imagine that we make R1 equal to 0 and R2 equal to infinity. Then, from the formula, we can see that the gain will be 1. That is, the output voltage will be equal to the input voltage. And how do we obtain these values of resistance? Well, a resistance equal to 0 is just a wire going from here to here. And an infinite resistance will be just to disconnect this point here. No connection. Therefore, we will obtain something like this, which is the voltage follower configuration. The output voltage will be always equal to the input voltage. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, Consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Okay, here I have the test circuit on breadboard, the power supply is connected to the input and the output is monitored with the multimeter. So let me turn on the power supply. You can see that it is at 6.5 volts and the output from the op amp is also 6.5 volts. If we change the input voltage the output varies by the same amount. 7 volts at the input means 7 volts at the output. And so on. You may be wondering why do I need this circuit? I mean the output voltage is the same as the input voltage. So it looks kind of unuseful. However, that is not the case. Actually, this circuit is very useful. Why? Well, remember from the first video that operational amplifiers have a very, very high impedance at the input on the order of hundreds of mega ohms. Therefore, at the input, practically no current flows. The current is practically zero. But at the output, the impedance is low and we can have considerable currents. Therefore, this type of circuit can be used as an in impedance matcher. Let's see the classic example, which is the resistive voltage divider. I have a voltage of 6 volts and I need less voltage to power, for example, an LED. So I make a voltage divider with two resistors. The voltage value at each resistor depends on the value of the resistors. For example, here in the resistor below, we have a voltage of 2.95 volts. That I want to use to power a LED, an LED that needs that voltage. So let me connect the LED. And there it is, the LED is on, but notice that the voltage is less than we have before. If I disconnect the LED, the voltage goes up again, connect the load, and the voltage goes down. And this is normal to happen because we are adding a load to the circuit 
the load has a resistance and the value of the voltage divider changes. Therefore, my voltage also changes. So, in order to solve this problem and have the same voltage that I calculated in the voltage divider, we can use our circuit with the operational amplifier as a voltage follower. Let's see. Here is the resistive voltage divider connected to the input of the operational amplifier as a voltage follower. So let's now see what happens with the output voltage. Again, I will connect my LED lamp, but now it is connected to the output of the operational amplifier. As you can see, the voltage is 2.93 connect the LED and the voltage does not vary. Connected and disconnected, the voltage stays the same. Here, the output of the voltage divider goes to the input of the operational amplifier. That is, the load of the voltage divider is the op amp, which has a very, very high resistance. Therefore, the current draw from the voltage divider is almost zero, and therefore the voltage does not change. Our LED, the real load, is connected to the output of the op amp. It is the op amp that provides the current for the real load, not the voltage divider. Okay, so this is how the op amp works as a voltage follower. That's all for today's video. I hope you liked it. Thanks for visiting my channel and see you in the next one.